Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. This is not really a tutorial, this is more a workflow. And uh, yeah, I bought uh, on Black, uh, the Black Friday deal from Otoy again. And with this Black Friday deal, there comes some additions. So, uh, like uh, grayscale gorilla plugins uh, or textures, and, and so, so the grayscale gorilla plus subscription or something else and the kit bash is in first I, I, I never uh, had a look at, about the kit bashes I never was interested about it but uh, now I got a job where I really can use it and uh, especially now with the flex uh, this time with the description this month there will is this uh, uh, Neo San Francisco kit bash here and there is a nice bridge inside. Yeah, let's go closer with uh, Control D and uh, go to the to, 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 to check the display. It's huge, so now I see everything. And there is this bridge here. And I'm interested in this one. So I don't have to model it myself. <laughs> so. Because you can imagine how long it needs to, to make something, a bridge like this, and so I, I save a lot of time for this. And, but here the bridge, this is just one group here. I select it and we should see it inside. Yeah. This is one group with lots of, uh, well, it's not so many, but you see something inside. And, but uh, I have no chance. So let's say I want to I have an animated scene, so I want to rot let rotate this uh, fence here, this ventilator's fence, whatever. But you see, this is all one object, so I cannot uh, rotate this. And so, so I want to separate this, this fence and so and rotate them. Then I want to be able to turn on and off the holograms and maybe change the uh let's rotate the, the pictures or something else and then of course i want to be able to turn on and off the lights here and change brightness and color and yeah and so on and i want to do this everything with, with expressos that i have on my group here in expresso tech and i have the controls inside what i can do so that i can rotate the ventilators the vents so that the, 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 the Fans, turn on off lights, hologram, blah blah blah. Okay, so let's do this. And then, of course, I want to bring this one, this bridge, in my content browser so that I can use it, or in the asset browser, so that I can use it whenever I need it. And don't have to open the whole scene every time. And so, okay. Now I have selected the group here, so I was Control C. I I copy this thing here and make a new scene and control V I bring it inside the first thing I see the bridge is of course not centered in the scene so make reset transform and now this bridge is in the center of the scene great okay and I save this of course so that I don't lose it I simply name it here bridge so know what it is and now we will have one problem now because when I copy uh, this normally the, the textures are not copied with it so uh, let's open this texture and you will see the albedo here yeah error loading texture so this we can uh, solve this quite simple. Uh, this will work for every render. So that we see express and everything. This is, I mean, you just have to connect the nodes a little different. So that because yeah, I'm sure you have in Octane different nodes than in Redshift or something else, or a physical render. And so and so, uh, but you can do it normally with every render. And so, uh, yeah. But now we have to 
uh, solve this problem with the textures. So for Octane, I go to my Octane Live Viewer, uh, Octane Dialog. Go to Materials, and here we have the Octane Texture Manager. And with the Octane Texture Manager, we wait a little bit. This needs a little time to check all the textures, what is missing and what not. So and here is everything missing. You see, everything has a chuck. Yeah, so I select everything. So click one and Control A. Everything is selected. And relink it to my downloads. Neo San Francisco Green Texture 4K. Select this folder and say yes. We choose this folder. And then you see it starts to find all the textures. This needs again a little bit until everything is uh, replaced. But not all too long, so maybe a minute or so. And that's we should have the time. If you don't have the time, just simply uh, fast forward and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, da -da -da. It goes quite fast, so we are almost done. Done. Okay, check and just save it again so that I don't lose it, because uh, last uh, last time, so later, uh, I had more often a crash here in cinema. So now we wait until this updates everything, and then we should be ready to go. Okay. So now when I go with my hologram texture and image texture, we should see the texture. It still loads in, it seems. It needs quite long, but, but uh, everything on runs on SSDs and everything. And, but it seems we are crashed. Does not, uh, it looks like we crashed. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I simply uh, open it again and we we uh, saved. Uh, so I saved the whole thing with the with the texture passes uh, with the passes textures. So it should uh, okay. It closes itself. So I'm back in a second. So I'm back again. Now I change this because I have seen I have uh, a safe disk fridge not on an SSD this was a normal hard disk I uh, changed it now to an SSD and it should work a little faster so normally we should have now here everything inside you see we have the texture everything seems to work and we can start to make our uh, controls so first of all I want to change the lights you see we don't have light this is the lights and they have uh, put in a bitmap here for any reason for the light source so uh, it will work i think so we have here a light when i go up with the texture emission uh, oh, we don't see it in the view but i think it is go to na Makes this a difference? No, that makes no difference. Oh, yeah, oh, I see it now, it's black and it's white. Okay, but with this thing, I, I can only hardly change some colors. So, so I want to change the, the colors of the light as well. So, I simply delete this one, and instead of this, I use a RGB spectrum and so I can easily change lights and everything go to right here and this should do the same so when I go up here there you see it works with it's white now and now it should turn black yep okay good this is the first thing and I want to have control over the power I want to have control over the color and over the surface brightness, if yes or no. Okay, so 
this is would be my default point one. Point one. So I think when we render this, we want to see it. Let's go to the octane dialog. Render this. Yeah, it's black, and if we go up here, it's white. Okay, that works so far. Point the one. I make save it. So. And so I need this power. So first of all, go to here and in the user data, I make new user data. But here I will make another second attribute manager here. So I click on this arrow here and I have a second attribute manager. This one I lock. This one I don't lock. And here I have now my user data for this group. And here I can do whatever I want. And this will always stay open. The reason I do this is the following. When I go to manage user data, and as soon as this window is open, I cannot click anywhere. You see, everywhere we, we cannot click. And this is so annoying that you have always to close, then go to your uh, what you ever need, then open it again, go inside, make the same, then it closes. It, it, it's, it, I don't know why they, they don't change this. This is, this, is, this is so stupid. Sorry, but uh, it is some, some things really uh, make me crazy. Because the, I, I don't know that nobody uh, complains against this. So, so, and, and, yeah, which is we have to do it like this so um, we do it like this now okay I opened this one with manage user data add group and here I named this controls controls so, and now I have to close it because I so I have now my tab here with controls and as I said I want to uh, control first of all the uh, the power of the of the light so but for this we don't have to open the node editor we can do this uh, directly here and you see now I have the second attribute manager and here it, it, it's locked so let's bring that attribute manager down over to here and what I said was I want to go to the no not to the emission and I want in the emission this power I want to control it here so the simplest thing is uh, to go right click user interface and copy user data interface then we go to our manage user data and under controls right click paste and you see we have the power in here I want the limit so one and that don't need it so high so a thousand but if someone wants to go higher I don't set the slider max I disable it so that means the slider goes until thousand but you can manually go over it if you activate this you cannot go over a thousand and the default value I want one okay that's it okay now we have our power slider here of course it does nothing at the moment because it's not connected to anything so and when I go here to reset default that's perfect okay the next thing I want to control is the color so we have here the, the color spectrum so, so the RGB spectrum I go inside and right click on the color copy user data interface you see if this would be open always I don't have to open everything the thing and close it and open it and close it right click paste color you see everything is here by default I want here a white color of course and the other things I can leave it like it is and we have our color under our controls save it so that we don't lose anything the next thing I want to control is I go up here one and I want to control the surface brightness as well. If, sometimes I want it, sometimes not. It depends on the scene. 
So, I go to here, user interface, copy user data interface, and manage user data, control, paste. This one, take it down. This is just a boolean and the default, I don't want it, okay. We have it here. Great. This is our first thing to control. So, so let's start with Express so and then one after the other. So what we need is an Expresso tag. Now we can right click here, programming tags, Expresso. It should open the Expresso window here. You can also simply when you need an want Expresso shift C turn uh, Expresso, you see, and you double click on the Expresso text, the same. And if it needs too long to load here, sometimes what's wrong is here in the all includes, uh, disable the scenes, then it goes much faster. So, so for me at least it was like this. Normally when I press on it and then it needed ages, but uh, then I disabled the scenes here and then goes much faster so okay whoops whoops so now we need our control we go we drag in the whole group so we drag in the folder or the object where the where the express attack is on or where, where we have the, the, the user data so now the express attack can be wherever it want but here we have the user data and this we drag in and in the controls here I drag in now the color on the right side the power and this was the thing so I, I hold my control key and double uh, I hold my control key and double click on the node so it uh, gets the correct size we have everything here and now we start again we Go to our. So here, 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 this is where we don't need this one. We need our thing here. But we, where do we have? Why well, we don't have our second attribute manager? Did I close it? Make it open. Then it's easier to work with it. Go to the light, to the emission. So I want the power. The power is in the texture emission here. I cannot drag the power simply in here. This is not possible. So I go up one and I need this texture emission. So I pick this thumbnail here or something, this preview, drag it in and you see we have the texture emission inside. Now I go inside my texture emission and drag in the power. And simply connect the power with the power. And in the same thing, in texture mission, we have our surface brightness. Bring this inside as well and connect it here. Okay. And last but the least, the color. For the color, we have to go to the texture mission and we have to drag in the RGB spectrum now. So let's go again here. So and I again drag this preview inside here, RGB spectrum. And in the RGB spectrum I drag in the color. Color. So that's it. We are connected. That means now I am able to uh, let's bring this closer here. So when I go with the power, let's say here to 10, it should light up here. Yeah? Let's go to 100, we see that. So, okay, this we don't see it more, but when we go here, let's say to red, it should turn red or pink in this case. I turn spring or maybe in the in the render it will be different or it's too this it, is too strong this is the, when I go to ten here. Yeah now it's red you see. Okay that works. 
and the circle brightness works as well. I know it's also this must, it has to be working. It has to work, so. Okay, this is the first thing. Let's make that we don't lose. We could make now for each with the hologram and for, for, you know, for the ventil ventilator, so, so, so for the fans, we could make for each an own espresso tag, but this is not necessary. We can do it everything in one espresso tag. I simply select here everything, right click on it and say convert the XG group, so X group, and I rename it and say these are the lights. So now I know what, what this part is and that's it. So, uh, sorry, it's somewhere, there is someone on the door. I'm back in a second. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> we have uh, quite a lot of snow at, uh, at the moment in Vienna and some kids playing outside and uh, building a snowman and uh, one kid is ringing on my door and asking me if I have a carrot for the nose. <laughs> okay, of course I had one. <laughs> Good, let's continue. We have the lights. Next one what I want to do is, uh, yeah, let's make the holograms. So, so we need to know where the holograms are in our scene. So this Click on it, and this here uh, it is named hologram. This na it's nice, and so we wanna uh, be able to turn on and off the, the whole hologram, or, or we could do this just when we when we don't see any lights. It should be disabled. Just try it. This is this one here. So this is this. Uh, texture here, so I will open it in the node editor, bitmap, and here is the emission, okay, here is the opacity, yeah, okay, okay, everything like it should be, and here we have the texture emission. When we render this now, let's save, so, um, dialog, I want to bring this dialog somewhere, I didn't want to, so, and, uh, hit render, let's see what we get, we see something here, and if we go to the emission, and set it, we will see it always. Yeah. Okay. So I want to disable it. I want to be. So when I disable it, of course I don't see it. So. Yeah. Okay. This is what I want. Good. And so if we turn on the light here. Well, we don't see here. I think that looks not correct here for me. Uh, maybe we need some environment. Let's go to my Decomedia Octane Rig here. Yeah, okay, with the environment it looks better. Let's make here. Uh, where is this? Attribute manager. And we need another attribute manager. So, okay, background and first. Let's make a background here. I don't need the shadow catcher, we don't see it. So, and I make here a black background. So, it looks like this now. And I want to make a different HDRI, it's just a very simple HDRI, so nothing fancy. These are, this, this are mine. So, uh, just the sunlight should be fine here. Okay. Uh, that looks nice. Okay. 
but of course this shouldn't be I'll close it again I make it second one here so this is, doesn't matter so 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 this down here and now I have two of them okay this is locked this is not locked so now I'm happy uh, I want in the HDRI the intensity down so because I want to see it should be night and now we see lights here we see definitely it works nice <laughs> Okay, and now we should be able to go. I want to see the, the little better. Ah, did it crash? I hope it's my mouse and not. Uh, yeah, my mouse is empty. I, I go back to a normal, not to, to a wired mouse. I don't like this. Sorry, one second. I have to. Uh, no, it should work again. Where is it? Here it is, no? But it still does not move. Okay, so it seems that we are crashed again. Where is no, the mouse? Is nowhere. Good. That works, but the mouse does not move. What's wrong with my mouse? This is not cinema, I think. This is the mouse which is. So where is cinema? Here is cinema. No, cinema, cinema works perfect. But my mouse has some troubles. Come on, what's going on with you? You should be. You are wired, hey. Da, 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 da. No mouse today. Da, 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 da. I have here another mouse. What is what is this? Is this a Bluetooth or what is this? Simply let's try what this is. Ha! Fun. Sorry, I'm back in a second when I find out how I can stop my OBS here is not. Okay, I'm back in a second. So, I am back. This is really crazy. It's the first time in my life a mouse died. So, my, and my PC mouse died. I'm sure it's not the first time a mouse <laughs> died, but uh, okay. Uh, where did we stop? So, yeah, the hologram. So, we, we want to uh, enable and disable the hologram but first i want to see we had a problem i don't know why it's so so why it does not really light here so i have to make this all again obtain dialogue bring the dialogue down to here so. and hit render da, 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 da. Come on, export the materials. Do it a little faster, please. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, what's this? What's wrong here? Da, 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 da. Why this needs so long? This tutorial stands not on a good star, I think. <laughs> so it does not really want to work here. Anyways, ah, I don't have my C 
Steam Rig in here. Bring it in. But this is, this is not a planned uh, tutorial or workflow or recording. So, okay, I don't need this background black. And I want a different HDRI. I thought this is already saved, but it did not, it seems. So, it is 130 here, and we should have no idea. Yeah, this looks not bad. So, I saved this scene. Don't know how often it will crash. <laughs> As I said, Maybe it, my, my PC does not work, uh, want to work on Sundays. Uh, good. But I work often on Sundays. Good, 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 good. Extra mission, and let's see when we go up this mission now. I don't see anything of this. Ah, now it comes through a little bit. 200 here. Surface brightness, yeah, okay. Now we are talking. This is it. And for this reason, I want to have the opportunity to turn surface brightness on and off. So, but we see it only on this side. Ah, we have it here as well. But I want to see it on both. We don't see it on the back side. The hologram is to, to see on both sides. So let's go to the hologram, to the tech, and seamless side, both. Here's everything done. Double sided. Okay. Good. So in your render, you have to, to look what what is the setting for this double siding. But I think you have it everywhere in each render. So, okay, this works. And now I want it to smooth, but I don't want the, the, the object, so not the object here moves. We could make this moving when the background. Let's rotate this. But this, I don't know if it looks nice. Well, we could do this. But I don't think that, uh, so when on the water, some people can see it. And I can see it. And uh, But if we want to just rotate here, we could go to the tag and offset the U direction. So we get something like this here. Yeah, I think this is more what I want, because when I do it the other way, I have always the same picture when I rotate the whole thing. And so I get different pictures on it. So I want it this way. Good. That means we have to animate, to, to be able to animate the U direction here, the U offset. And here the same with the brightness, the power and the, the uh, surface brightness. Okay. Good, so let's go to our thing here. Whoop. Again, I will uh, lock this, make a second one, unlock this. Can hide this for the moment. Can hide this. Save the whole thing and go now to our user data, manage user data. And we can make here a new group. So, uh, it's, you see, I can not, not even drag this up because I have to close this window. So, okay, controls. And here I want to add a new group. This group should be called hologram. Uh, hologram. Good. Enter. So that means we should have now a new group named hologram here. 
in the hologram we want the power in the emission the power so we again we simply copy this now not copy like this we have to copy the user interface data user data manage and under hologram i paste this we have the power i want to start here with one and i don't know i have thousand no max here point oh one and this should be fine okay so we have the power button here then i want the surface brightness copy user data interface user data manage user data paste okay and here I set default to yes, so because you have seen that we we need it when we want to see something. So okay, so you see it's by default it's on. Now we go save it and go back to our express attack and simply this this is simple. So we again we in the object with the uh, user data on it this is this the hologram power and the hologram surface brightness okay then go back to here texture emission we bring in and this is both in the texture emission so we can go inside drag in the power and the surface brightness and simply connect it done we can select everything and convert it to an X gx group so and rename it to hologram okay we have a scanned thing and this should work normally ah, i want to disable and enable it as well so what we have to do here is for this we don't have to copy anything so only thing we need here is in the hologram so we need new user data manage user data in the hologram add new data and i say here on off So, and here I need a boolean. Oops. Data type. No, not here. So. Interface. No, come on, I'm just not a flow. A boolean here, we have it. Uh, on is with. This, okay. This should be fine. Okay, we have the on off here now and i go to here make this a little bigger and i drag in this whole hologram guy here in the 6n group here and what i want here is first i bring the on off into here and here i want simple basic properties and here i want just the uh, render visibility and viewport visibility render visibility viewport visibility uh, whoops whoops okay now it's exactly the, the uh, opposite to change this we We simply could name it off on, so <laughs> so, but no, I want it like this, and I bring in between here a negate node, so negate, and this makes exactly the opposite, of course. So 
so I bring this to here and to here. And what's important is in the negate, we have to set the negate from real. You see, this is the attribute manager, the second one, so from uh, real to bool. So I can copy this, control, drag it down. this to here and this to here and now when on is on and off is off okay that seems to work save it the next thing let's make the ventilator rotate able so and then i what i want is to make these lights, uh, I want to make it possible to give the lights different colors. So I want this, this like in Christmas uh, lights thing or something else. So with different colors, like and, and, and yeah. But first, let's make these things animatable. You see, when I click on it, whoops. This is the tower. When I go in the object mode, I see this is everything is one. This is one object. So I cannot rotate only this. But we have to separate this here. And so let's do this. I select this one. And now I want to select the. Uh, all the, the polygons they are connected with this one and this I can do with UW UW see now I have all connected with this one here this is okay but I want the same with the other ones so I hold my shift key click one here one here and I know I want this this here as well rotating and here the axis the axis, here the axis, and let's see what we get now with UW. Okay, then I hold my shift key, make one here, UW. Okay, UW. So that looks quite nice, but I don't want this from here to here. I only want this here. So uh, with UL, I can make a loop selection, UL, and I hold my uh, my control key to uh, to subtract the selection. So control key, you see, this is subtracted. Now with UF, I have a fill selection, UF, fill selection, and I hold my control key again to, se to subtract the selection. And you see, it selects everything on this side now. So, so and everything is away here and I want only this thing to rotate okay so we simply split this if you with uh, UP or OP split let's see the split is here with UP but this split UP is splits it but you have to Delete then all the polygons from uh, from the other uh, from the original part. I have a small script. This is here, just split and connect and split. Connect and split. This is here to just splits and this splits it from the object and deletes it on the original one and uh, exists the center on the new one. And here it does the same with but this. Uh, connects everything what is you know, and if you set one polygon or the polygons we used we don't have to make this UW you can click on this it connects everything splits it deletes it from the original uh, axis the center uh, center the axis and so on and so on you will find these two scripts on, on, on Patreon for patrons so uh, so I think say here simply split now I get the point one as you say this is the pen one uh, 
Okay, go into object mode. And as see when I go into object mode, this this axis is not really centered, so it's, there is something outside here. This when I hit or do you see it it, it is not you can see it better, I think than the sound over here. Where do we have it? This is it so here. Oops. You see the axis is offset here. So then I go here to camera left. Then it should. Yeah, okay, so now it's the same offset here. I have no idea why it is because when we go to axis center here, okay, execute, it is centered for anything. So it somewhere must be a I don't know something else, but it's no problem to center this. So I go to this view here, and I want to bring the axis exactly in the middle so that it rotates uh, how it should. Otherwise, you can imagine when I rotate it now, that wouldn't look very nice. So when I go here and let's say this one now, coordinates and we rotate it. This is the wrong way. You see, this is not how it should rotate. So let's okay, so now we go in the axis mode here. L is the shortcut, L for the axis mode. And Shift S, with Shift S, I activate the snapping. Shift S, you have the snapping here. And I drag simply now with the only the, I drag only the axis, you see. I drag the axis in the middle here. So and now I disable the axis, disable the snapping. Now I have it exactly in the middle and now I can nicely rotate it here. And this I want to be able to animate if I want. So I bring this in the express. So good. To do so, I make this here. Whoops, make another one again not bring in our so the express so we only need so we can bring this up here go to our controls and user data manage user data now first let's let's take out what we need so that means we go to the fan coordinates we need this rotation p copy user interface Go to our user data. We make a new group here. Name it fans. And paste in the rotation. Okay, this is okay, okay, okay. Default value is zero. This is everything fine like it is. The, normally, you know, we don't need it so much. We, I bring it from minus 360 to plus 360. This is enough. So, okay. So, in the advance, we have now the rotation. And we bring in our thing. Drag in the rotation here. Then we break, drag in the fan one here. In the fan one, we would need the rotation P. So I go on the P and drag the P inside here. Rotation P. And that's it. We need the second fan as well then. So I let it open. But now we should already see we can drag our thing here. We cannot go over it. So if you want to make it faster, I think we should make it reset the default. We should give it more so that we can rotate it faster if, if someone needs it. Manage rotation and uh, let's go to. Uh, we could make it with a float so then we can. Well, I simply make it times 10 and then that should 
do it for everyone. Because normally you don't need this. You can make it in the, uh, if you have 200 frames and let's say you want to make 360 degree or 200 frames, simply keyframe on frame zero. Then on, on the last frame, I put it to 360 and that's it. And if I want it faster, I make the 360 on frame 100. And in the keyframe, I say simply uh, continue. So, so it would make the 360 on 100 and continues and continues and continues. So, but let's do it like this. Okay, so good. Save. Now we bring, we make the second fan now. Which should be quite easy now. We know what we do. So let's go into object mode. We hit everything we want to connect them. So, oops, just a second. So, 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 so. Now I could say, uh, you connect and split. But I want to see if I have everything what I need, but because it would split this as well then. So with UW, yep, we have only, but we don't like this guy here. So UL, control key, UF, control key, and we are done. We have it. See, split. And now we have to find two. You see how quick this can go. Uh, and don't forget now that this is not centered here. Let's go back to here. L for the axis tool, Shift S for the snapping. Snap it here. L to disable the axis tool, Shift S to disable snapping done. We have this. The next step is we simply, this is quite easy to do, so we copy this fan one, control drag it down, and we drag in the fan two instead. So now we have the fan two, rotation P, so now both of them should rotate when I say rotate. But they have now exactly the same position both. This is this is not what I like. So let's go from here to this second fan and R for rotate and I rotate Oopsie. I cannot rotate it now because of the expressor tag. So what I do is, yeah, go to the expressor tag and let's disable it here. Then go to the expressor tag and disable it for the moment. I drag now the vent to a different position, doesn't matter where. Then with L, I activate the axis again and drag only the axis back to zero. So you see that the object stays, but the axis goes back to zero. L again to disable the axis mode, and then we can enable here again. And when we go to our thing here, now we both of them rotate in a different position. This is exactly what we want. Perfect, I would say. So we have this. We have the, the ventilator, so the, the fans, ventilators, ventilation, so let's make here an X, X group here, so X group, we name it to fans, okay, good, this is Almost everything we need here. At least 
Okay. We can now over our controls, we can disable the holograms here. So we see it better. Yeah, so how can we give our lights different colors? Save. Because we see when we go to the lights, this is all again one object here. So how can we take the lights? So we should have, here we have a lot of text, you see, and we have here the selection text. And one of these must be uh, the light, for the lights. So let's go here and I open this one and let's see if we go to assign. So we will see. This is a common around the assignment here. And in the assignment we should see the thing. Fan 1 is see, but it is with the fan 1 and fan 2, this is not correct now. Because normally we could here delete on our fan 1 and fan 2, we could, could delete almost, or we can delete all of, no, we cannot do not delete everything of that, because some we need for the, uh, for the, but they, they do not, uh, this job in any way, so this is we can state it like, like this is so shouldn't be a problem. Good, but we have to search for the lights. Road segment, road segment, road segment. Uh, it's clear and uh, show in manager. Uh, uh, select. I simply could go through and, and test it which one is which one but one of these things is for sure let's see select tag this lamp trim which one is it here ah road segments okay this is it when I double click it ah this is on the road well, maybe this is these are the lights on the road here could this be? Uh, I want it like these guys here. Let's go through it. So I select this one. And I double click this one. Double click this one. One of these should show up then. What? Uh, NQ to deselect the, uh, to disable the textures. And let's see. Double click, double click, double click, double click, double click, double click. Double -click. This is not the right one here. This is. I think we have it here on this. Double -click. yeah, that looks better. Double click, double click, double click, double click. That needs a little time, but ah, we have it. Haha, <laughs> this is a lamp trim. Okay, yeah, it's called lamp trim. But oh, when you go over it, you would see it as well. But with the double click, why not? So we have selected all these lights now. And of course, the first thing I want to do is I want to separate them. So uh, we have all of them selected and split it. I don't want the road lights, I want just the, these lights here, not the lights on the road. Good, now I have these lights, so when I disable them, Oops, this is the wrong one. I disable them. This should be over here. Because from far you don't see if the light is off or when when I when I uh, disable it to the, you don't see if it's off or is it not here. So but what I want it's not because I want to do 
I want to give him different uh, colors. And this is quite easy if we bring the lights in the in a fracture object. No, not here. I hold my alt, uh, the lights are selected, I hold my alt key, fracture, explode segments and connect. And now when I give this fracture a random effector, yeah, give me the effectors, and give it a random effector, so above here, good. I just uh, bring the effector with shift key in so that it becomes a child, so that I don't have to search it on here on the front top and drag it to here. I want it in, uh, always above my uh, generator here so I know to what it belongs. So I hope that makes sense. The effector should affect only the color. Effector, color. And you immediately see we have different colors on our wing and I want you can now go with the color and uh, yeah it's, uh, we can now uh, go in the thing here so and instead of the RGB spectrum here we could bring in a MoGraph select a, a MoGraph shader No, not multi shader. Color shader. But be careful, this can destroy your whole, uh, whole expressor because now this is not connected. So when we go to the expressor track, in this case, maybe we, uh, we have luck, but this can. In this case, it's okay, but uh, in this case, it, it destroys nothing. But sometimes, when you change something and it's not connected, also, but okay, here we have uh, the, the RGP spectrum is here. If I would delete the RGP spectrum node now, this uh, node would not find the RGP spectrum and everything, the whole expressor is is destroyed. So let it in if you want to make it like this. So okay. And between the color shader I bring in the colorizer and load some uh, all full color but you can use here some Christmas colors or something else. But if we bring this in now and we have now the colors here so. and if we render this we should see the different colors here yeah, now we have nice colors of course we can now here in the random effector we can play with the speed here we can go play with the speed the fun thing we can go to a noise. We could even animate this animation. This animation is much faster. Here, I want to make it smaller. smaller. when we hit play. Good, we don't see this nicely, but when we make this animation speed quickly, you see it starts to blink somehow. So, so. You can get, get nice, and if you're not happy with this, simply take an, a different uh, different preset if you want, or then make your own preset. Raster preset and drag everything closer to K. 
good. Uh, No, but you know, can play with this. I need to do this. Mm. If you want to start with, with with playing around, you you never stop. Why does this not give us some colors? Ah, that's not okay. With the random, of course, you can animate the seat if you want to do it. But play, play whatever you want here. The index looks, the synchronized looks okay. Not very nice. Yeah, however you want it. it, it works. So, okay, I go to random. And I would simply change every five frames, maybe, so that the seed, so that I always get a different seed. Or you make it with a, with a fast noise and let it blink or something. It's a but for now, let's go back with spectrum. I leave it here like this is. So. Maybe when, so I just have to change the, the connections when I want it or if I don't want it. So. Now this should now again work here. So when I go to white, I have my white lights. So that's okay. Surface brightness should work. Yeah, this you see it there. So okay. okay. The next thing, what can we what we can do? This is everything here we, we need. Yeah, that's it more than less. Yeah, okay. I would say we are done with this. This is all I want because I wanted to, for my scene, I wanted to animate the fence and have the opportunity to work with the lights and of course with the Hologram. So bring in the hologram, make it nice. So, and of course, now if we want to add out the hologram, we where is our rotation here? We want to rotate the hologram. This, this I forgot. So, this we make it quite easy. So, we go to the hologram. This, this is this. We want uh, in the hologram texture. I want the texture tag here. So hologram texture tag. The offset you copy the user interface. Manage user data. Oh, come on, here is the manage user data. Hologram, paste, offset you, on power, and brightness on off. The offset, I bring it in the last one. Uh, the value is 100%, so, so it's 0 to 100. If I want it quicker, let's go to, let's give it 1000, and here. Minus thousand default values. Yeah, okay. Offset you. Bring it in here. A wink. And bring this down a little bit. Bring this down a little bit. Go to our hologram thing here. Drag in the uh, tech, material tech. Offset you. And that's it. So done. That means we can now save it. So we can now animate over our thing here. 
we simply let's animate why not in frame zero keyframe and make a keyframe on the main defense as well so on frame 200 in this case i make an offset of 100 and here a rotation of 360. Okay, that means when I hit play, the vent, the, the fans moving, this moves, everything moves. And this looks much nicer if you have a scene, an animated scene. What I don't like is here the thing that no linear, if I go to my timeline. Whoops, and here I set it from the soft thing, so from the spline to linear, and now it, that looks perfect. Of course, if I want my fans faster, so I go to the last frame, go to my ends here, so and the rotation, bring the rotation to the maximum with 360. And, uh, times five okay record the keyframe and, and now that looks nice in the sci-fi scene okay so this is how i did it and then the last thing what you do now Let's say we are ready, we are happy with everything, and I am, so go to, I have here some uh, category with tests. With Shift F2, I can disable the material manager here. So tests, and now I bring in here the create category, kit bash, and Nicomedia is okay here, this is okay, okay, okay. Kit bash, and when I, when I have more kit bashes, create category. This is a new San Francisco, how is it called? I'm not sure. This. Neo San Francisco, Neo San Francisco, Francisco. And here I simply drag the whole scene here with the expressor pack bring it in here okay wait a little bit and then it should be here okay you see the preview does not look great so I make you a render Okay, file. You can save it now, but what I do is I have here the screen press system, as it's called. This is a, a screen capture program, but there are so many out there, so that you have seen your own maybe. So I make here a screen capture. Your Windows can capture this as well, so to make it. But here it automatically gives my capture in in the in the yeah. What called in the clipboard, and here you see you can update preview on clipboard. I hit this, and now I have a nice, a nice uh, thumbnail as well for it. And now when I close everything here, so save it again. So you can. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot uh, share this because this is normally not not free. So this is thing, so I cannot share it. But uh, I think it's everything explained, so, so. Uh, okay, let's hide it. And now if I need my scene, I simply drag it from my asset browser in here. Wait a little bit, of course. Because there is something to, if it's already fully saved, because uh, 
I don't see any uh, normally I, I see here the uh, oh it's here <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, of course, this is a very, very big thing, and in my, my scene starts like this, and it's like normally it should go in and go to this O on the keyboard. No, O. Yeah, it's here now. There is a shortcut for zooming on this object. Like, is it S? I don't know. No, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, do you have everything here? What? I wonder if it is. Normally I see here all the textures as well in the... Let's see if we have it here. So Shift F2. Go to this and then I go to my... See if it's there. Yeah. Yeah, so everything is here. It works. So nothing, no texture is missing, nothing. It's everything here. And you have it in your scene and the expressor still should work normally. Go to express and so to the uh, uh, it's it's I, I saved it with the with the animation but it is normally I don't do but so that, that means it should run immediately. Directly from the yeah why not with the animation? This is, this is not a bad idea to save it with the animation. Okay, we are done. I hope you like this one. As I said, this was not planned and uh, nothing so so. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just I want to show it what, how I do it, and here is a little more work with with, with the separating the fans and everything. But normally you just have to that you can turn on the lights. This is uh, for me. I don't want to search all all the time for for the. the Right texture, open the the, the texture, the, the shader, and then go into the notes, and then then then, just with one with one slider on on an espresso, it's like here, and I have everything. I can change what I want. Okay. Good. That's it. I wish you a nice rest of the Sunday. At least here in Austria, it's the rest of the Sunday. And, uh, yeah. Next tutorial will come soon. Maybe I record one today because today I am alone. And yeah, maybe I take a, a glass of Uzu or whiskey and make another tutorial or something else. Let's see. Okay. Uh, again, if you have questions, requests, complaints, please let me know. And in the in the comments or the by email or Facebook site, Facebook group, web page, Instagram, whatever. And uh, yeah, and I will try to help you or I will try to change something. And uh, what's more? It's not really more. So that, that's it. Okay. I wish you all the best here from Austria, Vienna, and Tschüss. Und Baba.